Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2018 Panini Phoenix Football 8-box. It's an inner case. Pick your team number two. Now, we popped open a case right there, right behind. We popped open the master case already, did pick your team number one. So pick your team two is the second half of that master. So let's go grab it. So I marked the first pick your team one, L. So R is going to be the second side right here. So big thanks to all of these folks for getting into that Phoenix. On the 17th, brand new release day, pick your team two. There's everyone right there. Good luck, everybody. Something's missing here. There you go. Karen, how could I forget? How could I forget Last Spot Mojo? Karen with Last Spot Mojo Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. All right. Something I knew something didn't look right on that. Cody Wise asking, what do I think about Nick Bosa leaving uh, Ohio State to end the draft? Yeah, I heard about that. W under... What is he going to do? The Why is he leaving? I'm, I, I guess I don't know the full details of the story. All right, so let's do a little helicopter shot here. There are all eight boxes right there. All right, good luck, everybody. Box number one, Michael Brown saying, you just pulled a one out of 10 Baker Mayfield patch rookie auto out of Phoenix. Okay. I wish it was us that pulled it for you. I guess it's cool that you did though. No, that is cool though, Michael. I just wish that we pulled it for you. Well, you can sell that unless you're keeping it, unless you're PCing it. You can sell it and join one of our breaks. Maybe we can pull you something even better than that. All right, so with Nick Bosa, Cody Wise is saying, injured in, in the game against TCU and then just opted to sit the remainder of the season to get healthy for the draft. All right, he seems pretty confident in his abilities. Where, where is he projected to go, Cody, in the draft? Like, is he like a first-round pick? Can he sit out and still be drafted? Like, I guess he could probably sit out and still be drafted, right? Top five rounds. All right, good luck, folks. We'll breeze through these. These numbered cards will sleeve and top load before they get shipped out. Just in the interest of time, we're going to breeze by those. There's DJ Moore. We're not going to breeze by this. He's a top five pick? First round and possibly first overall. Eric Wyant saying top possible top five pick. Matthew Bodner saying the same thing as well. And that's out of 75, Panthers. That's for Lee Kimball. Wow. Well, I mean, I guess that's what I would do. I would, get, I would get healthy too, I suppose. If you can sit out the rest of the season and still be a top five pick, why not sit out? All right, out of 25, 
So it's stuff that's out of 25 and under will sleeve and top load right away. Lower numbers. Johnny with the Falcons, the Dirty Birds. I'm excited about prison football as well, EA. I hope we got a lot of it. I'll, I'll ask Nick Jaspi, or you can, you can ask him on Sunday and Monday when he's live. Be like, hey, Nick, how many, how many did we get? Probably more, probably more than we got Phoenix. Sony Michelle, we only got two master cases of Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, pick your team one and two, one master case. Pick your team three and four, second master case. I'm sure we got a lot of, I'm sure we got plenty of uh, that prism, though. As much as we're allowed. Out of 75, Le'Veon Bell. And out of 299, we got Armani Watts. And we got Kike Kuti, jersey and auto. Nice. That goes to the Texans. That'll be for John Besson. John picked up the Texans. I think I saw in the chat he's picked them up specifically because he liked this guy. Out of 299. Clay Matthews, 299. TJ Watts, 299. Le'Veon Bell, 299. Devonta Freeman. Jameis Winston. These are the color burst cards. These will obviously ship. It's only vet base that doesn't ship, so... This Tom Brady doesn't ship. This Eli Manning doesn't ship. This Jameis Winston will ship because it's out of 199. This Tom Brady will ship, and that will ship because it's a rookie card. All right, so three hits per box. Nice start thus far. It's two autographs and one memorabilia card per box. There you go. So two autographs and one memorabilia card plus the out of 25. All right. So Eric Wine saying, they say, the pundits are saying that it's around a $30 million choice he is making. If he gets hurt again... He falls one round. That could be a $30 million difference. Yeah, I'd sit out then. I mean, I guess it kind of... I don't know. How, I mean, how's Ohio State doing? I mean, I guess if they were battling for a national championship, then maybe I'd want to play. But if not, I'd sit out. I'd look forward to my career. My opinion on uh, the Manny Machado kick, Arthur saying he's a dirty player. That's exactly what Joe P said last night. I don't think it was a dirty play, per se. Um, I was listening to the Baseball Tonight podcast earlier today. Tonight, the Baseball Tonight podcast today. Uh, and ESPN Radio and ESPN TV color commentator Jessica Mendoza was a guest. She's a guest like every week on that show. On that podcast, if you listen to it, it's a good podcast. And they were, they were saying, and she was saying, listen, when she played baseball in college, she was just like, yeah, if someone, if someone has a leg stretched out over the bag, you know, everyone does this. Everyone kind of maybe taps the guy or, or maybe knocks into his leg or something like that just to let him know, hey, like, get off the bag. You know, like everyone does it. So why does Manny Machado get get hammered for it probably because you know he's had some incidents before and it's the NLCS and there's a lot of people paying attention but but if you if you notice here here's Aguilar right here standing on the pillow there it is most guys just have the heel on the pillow right here right but he kind of had a, had his foot over the bag a little bit i think machado was running across and you can see him kind of drag his foot into his leg but it's not like he tried to step on his heel i think that's the difference if he stepped on his heel like if he spiked him i'd be like come on like 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 you know that's a dirty play but i think he was just trying to bump into him you know what i mean just letting him know hey ease up off the bag you know 
Yeah, Wilkerson saying, hey, listen, I, got, I had always had my foot on the far edge, but guys always cleated me. You've played against, yeah, you must have played against some dirty players. He didn't cleat him, you know, he just kind of slid his, dragged his, uh, dragged his leg back. You would have punched him in the mouth? There's Baker Mayfield. Hi, Baker. I think Aguilar wanted to punch Machado in the mouth. Bench is cleared. But you can't do that in the NLCS. Piece of the pigskin. One out of 20. Dang it, not as good as Michael Browns. Ugh. But it's John Baggett with the Browns. There you go, John. Piece of the pigskin. Baker Mayfield's auto. There's Jerome Bettis. I don't think it's 30, Arthur. If if AJ Pollock did it, if Goldschmidt did it, you'd be like, that's good hustle. That's what you would say. There's veteran autographs. Josh Doxson, three-color patch and autograph for Patrick K. Yeah, Deathstalker. A DJ Moore was nice. Fourteen out of thirty. Yeah, if a Diamondback did, Arthur would be like, be like gamesmanship. That's just good gamesmanship. So grain of salt when when Arthur knocks the uh, Dodgers. Remember, he's a he's a Diamondbacks fan. There's Jordan Reed to ninety nine. I know, I know, Chris. <laughs> Machado's got a little bit of a history. I get it. I'm just teasing Arthur. Veteran materials, Matthew Stafford. Yeah, actually, you're right, Arthur. I don't think Goldie would do that. <laughs> He's a first baseman, too. I don't think he'd ever do that. A.J. Pollock, I, I could see. Well, no, maybe not A.J. Pollock. Who could, I, who could I see doing that on the Diamondbacks? Should we look up Diamondbacks? I know we're talking football during a, or baseball during a uh, football break, but... Who, who could I see do that? I could see... I could see David Peralta do that. Yeah. That's a guy that would do it. I guess AJ Pollock could be a dude that could do it too. I could see David Peralta dragging a foot across the across the bag. There's Kyle Loletta. There's Le'Veon Bell to 75. No, you're right though. I don't, I don't think Goldie would ever do that. Ooh. I've heard of this guy. Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. Nice. That goes to EA and the Chiefs. Or Seb Moham could trap tap. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There you go, Eric. Yeah, did that did snake up on me. I didn't did not expect that at all. And these color bursts, of course, will ship. There's Josh Allen to 299, Carson Wentz to 299, and Antonio Callaway. My homies. Um, Skinny G, we haven't seen anything too. Crazy, but we did pull a Saquon Barkley out of the first eight box inner, and we just pulled a Baker Mayfield out of 20 in this side. We got a dual relic, dual auto for the Buccaneers. That was pretty nice. Chris Godwin and OJ Howard, I think. So it's been pretty solid, though. Are they saying the only person I, I I know who would do it would be former coach Kirk Gibson and former Dodger player? It's just hard baseball, just playing hard. I wonder too, actually. Stephen Wilkerson bringing up a good point. I wonder if there's autos in those color burst hot packs. That would that could be pretty cool. Uh, the autos in the last box was uh, Baker Mayfield and and Josh Doxson. Baker Mayfield, Josh Doxson. Uh, John Baggett got the Baker Mayfield, and Patrick Cat Zeke with the Redskins got the Josh Doxson. Mm -hmm. 
All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Matty Ice, Barry Sanders. It's $2.99. We'll sleeve and top load all those before they go out, of course. Baker Mayfield to $149. Just in the interest of time, we're just kind of breezing by them. So, yeah, these are the. this is the color burst, which they say is... One color burst hot pack per box on average, right? I don't know. Maybe a checklist says cardboardconnection.com may may reveal that, but that'd be pretty cool. See one of those autographed. Le'Veon Bell to 199. There's Ezekiel Elliott to 249. 299. Cowboys with that one, James. And we've got two color patch auto, Nick Chubb. Three out of ten on that chub. It's a big chub for John Baggett and the Cleveland Browns. Mayfield and Nick Chubb. That is solid. Demarius Thomas to 149. There's you Vike that. James Washington to 299. And Deshaun Hamilton. 36 out of 299. Jersey and auto. Broncos. That'll be for Rick Hunt. There you go, Rick. On the board. Yeah, Nick Chubb is just he's just a big football player. What? What's wrong with Big Chubb? He's a big guy. There's Antonio Callaway to 199. Tyreek Hill, 3 out of 10. The speedy Tyreek Hill. Speeding over to EA. Adrenaline rush. Can you imagine this guy like coming by? He'd, he'd be like that. He'd fly right by you. Mariota out of 25. Out of 299, Michael Thomas. Deshaun Jackson, 199. And Ronald Jones, the second. There's the big relic right there for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Arthur. Out of 100 on that one, Arthur. And there's Mariota, 7 out of 25. Or Marcus Mariotto, as the commissioner said a number of years ago. That goes to Tyson, the Titans. EA was saying earlier, I'm glad I'm not going to London to see these guys. Uh, they've grinded out some wins, though. And uh, Skinny G saying, I sold him a Mahomes Green Refract 20 out of 25 from this product last week. Got 75 bucks for it. Doesn't sound too bad. Oh, wasn't autoed? For 75, it's even better then. Yeah, anything anything my homie seems to be seems to be selling like hotcakes. Like hotcakes, I say. Obviously, it was a rookie refractor. I think he's talking about last year's. Yeah, Kershaw. Seven innings, three hits, one run, nine strikeouts, two walks. Dodgers needed that performance out of Kershaw. Yeah, the, the, the material is very top's finest as well. You're wondering why there's no value on eBay? This is not like a super high-end product. I think the fact that they're releasing it kind of close to Prism sort of hurts it too. I think this is just a solid mid-range, a solid mid-range product. I don't think there's anything too, too fancy about it. I like it for its price point. It's pretty solid. Kind of tides us over until uh, until Prism comes out at the end of the month. 
out of 125, Kyle Laletta, jersey and autograph. Top's Finest was a solid mid-range. Yeah, but that's it's also Top's Finest. It's, it has much more of a, a longer standing brand name to it than, say, Phoenix, you know? I think design-wise, it's pretty similar, but obviously Finest definitely has more of a more cachet, I guess, more more brand recognition than Phoenix. I think Phoenix only came out a few years ago. There's Joe Mixon to 25. There's Tony Michelle to 299. Jersey and autograph. Pats. Karen with her Patriots. John saying, I think the value will slowly rise over time. Because I got, I got a graded Camara out of 149 rookie and a Miles Garrett. It's just got to catch on. Out of 149, J.J. And that's, is that an autograph? No, it's not. Just Relic. Josh Rosen for Arthur. I thought it was going to be an auto Arthur. But a Relic for the Chosen One. What's the oldest product that's still around? Probably Topps Allen and Ginter Baseball. That's pretty old. That's from the late 1800s. Oh, are you saying just between NT or Contenders? I think Contenders has been around longer than NT. I'm pretty sure. We have four boxes to go, folks. We're halfway through this break, halftime on this break. So you're clarifying football. He, um, I don't know what the, I mean, the oldest football product that's still currently produced does anybody else know that's a good question the a, a football product that's currently being produced what's the what's the oldest one that's still in production from like year to year or even if it skips a year but like what's still in production i mean it wouldn't be well here's the thing since panini has the exclusive for like the last what three four four or five years you know so they have the exclusive so a lot of stuff is new and obviously tops doesn't produce stuff anymore i guess they're i guess if tops was still around they would have the mantle of 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 having a football product that's been around the longest that's currently in production maybe a donner's football like that could that could work Philip Rivers to 149, Mark Walton, Jersey and Auto for the Bengals, Jason Hegg. Heggs with that one. Look at this one. What's going on? What is going on here? Anyhow, there you go. Bengals, Mark Walton to 249. Uh, Abner's saying score. Yeah, score football. That's been around for a while. There's Rashad Penny. That might be the answer right there. LaShawn McCoy to 299. Even though we don't break score, I know that's been around for a little bit. Out of 75, J.J. Nelson. Out of 75, Christian Kirk. That's a catch. Out of 299, Devontae Parker and another Sony Michelle. Relic out of 100. That's for Karen and her Patriots. 
28 out of 100. David Johnson to 199. Tyreek Hill to 299. Bradley Chubb, another big Chubb out of 199. Just a big dude. Frank Gore to 199. And Antonio Brown to 25. Downtown Antonio Brown, adrenaline rush. And a 299 out of 299. Cole Beasley to 99. And another Steeler, this time an autograph. Jersey and auto. James Washington. Don't I have a Josh Reddick home run prop, you guys? Is he up to bat right now? I do. Josh Reddick, plus 500. Come on, Josh. Nineteen out of Oh, those were all the parallels that I pulled. That's right. I was like, those are all numbered. All right. Let's put those there. We'll sleeve all of those up and top load them before they all go out. There's Connor Williams right there. Um, no, I, no one's reported to me yet, Chris, that anyone got autographs out of those uh, Panini Red Packs. I think Arthur got some stuff out of those Red Packs, but not... Was it, was it you, Arthur, that got some stuff out of the Red Packs? But I don't think there was any ink. Oh, come on! Josh Reddick. All right, three boxes to go. One, two, and three. Right there. And after this, I don't see any orders coming in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what we're going to do after this. Maybe some five-star baseball? Five-star baseball would be nice. It's getting a little warm here. I have to turn on the AC. Oh, I got. I see Rich with an order. Let's see. We're going to check on that after this break. Rich, thank you. Royce Freeman, Deshaun Watson to 149, and out of 199, piece of the pigskin, and the autograph, Traquan Smith, Phillip with the Saints. Traquan Smith catching that historic pass from Drew Brees. 008 out of 199, Devontae Parker, Phillip Rivers, Deron Payne to 199. I do like all the serial numbered cards. They're flipped around like this. Makes life easier. Out of 75, Calvin Ridley. Great season so far for him. Darius Fountain of Youth to 299. And Sam Darnold to 100. Big piece of his jersey right there. Jets, EA with the Jets, Jets, Jets. I thought, gonna, that, thought that was going to be an autograph too. 44 out of 100. Antonio Brown, Eli Manning, Blake Bortles to 299. There are the color bursts, of course, they'll, they'll all ship. Julian Edelman to 199. Gurley to 299. Gronk to 99. Royce Freeman to 125. Jersey and autograph for the Broncos. Rick Hunt. 
Oppo Joe Mojo as well. Good luck, everybody. Two boxes to go. Oh, come on, Pax. We've got another... Eight box inner, pick your team of Phoenix football from a fresh master case. If you want to run this back, we've got plenty of time tonight. We've got another three hours left in the broadcast. And these breaks seem to only take about 30, 40, 30, no, this is already at the 31 minute mark. It takes about 40 minutes to do this break. So we can knock out another one if you would like. Jaspiescasebreaks.com, our brand new website. Check it out. You can see the URL above my head right there. If you're used to shopping on your uh, mobile device, check out our mobile website. It looks really good. Better than the last side, that's for sure. There's Derek Nadi out of 299. And Jalen Samuels, two color patch and autograph for Michael Gallucci. Steel curtain and his Steelers. Uh, Ray's asking, are there any good Raiders hits in this product? I don't know. How much do the Raiders cost? I can tell you probably by the price. I don't think the Raiders were that expensive, so there's probably not that much in here for the Raiders. Cortland Sutton, jersey and autograph. I'll have a lot of first-round picks next year. Death Soccer saying, yeah, Mac, a few other random cards, nothing insane, though. Yeah, the price probably reflects what you could possibly get for the Raiders. LaShawn McCoy to 299. Josh Rosen to 299, James Washington relic for the steal. Another stealer out of 199. Antonio Callaway, 149. Matty Ice, Luke Keekley to 299. Color burst. Calvin Ridley, Jerome Bettis, and a one of one, Shaquem Griffin. Wow. That's Isaac with the Seahawks. You got to make the rainbow now, Isaac. You got to get the out of five, the out of 10, the out of 25, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's very cool. Isaac, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, last box coming up. I love it, Rex. I'm glad they flipped the inserts around. Otherwise, I had to, I had to have to look on the back of the card for every single numbered card. It would take me forever. But it does fool me sometimes. 
Some of them it fools me. I'm just like, is that an ah? Oh, it's not. Tice wants that Griffin, Isaac. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see one order, and that's from Rich Schmidt. He still wants to break tonight. What say you? What say you? What say you? I say what say you? What movie is that from? I actually don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's from a movie, though. I'll think of it. There's Eli Manning. Kike Kuti to 199. And Deshaun Hamilton relic for the Broncos. Rick, the Broncos. Four out of 75. Mike Evans, Camara. Antonio Brown, and then Dante Pettis, Jersey and Auto. 28 out of 99. I, th I thought there'd be some more Doris Fountains or something like that in here. We saw some in the first half. Yeah, maybe they were all... Yeah, TJ's like, all the Colts were in the last break. Maybe that's where they put all of them. But I thought there'd be a little bit more. Derek Nottie, Joe Namath, 2 299. Marquez Valdez, Scantling to 299, and rising rookie, Jaleel. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to be Lamar Jackson. Rising rookie, Jaleel Scott. Piece of his glove, 14 out of 99. That's a cool relic. For the Ravens, John Hyanga with the Ravens. Josh Norman to 149. Out of 10. That is Le'Veon Bell. Eight or 10. That's about when he feels like coming back. Week eight or 10. He's got to knock, knock some rust off this week, I guess. Ted Ginn Jr. to 190. Is he actually going to start this week? He's officially back, right? But I think he still has to sign a a contract or something. I don't know what's going on there. Who knows? Christian McCaffrey to 99. Dalvin Cook to 75. And Rashad Penny here at the end. That's a catch. Thank you very much, everyone. That was Phoenix Pick Your Team 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for getting in. We've got the next break will be from a fresh case. So check it out, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.